All right, let's talk about the Zazzle Associates program and the Zazzle Promoter 2.0 program. If you wanna make a little bit more than just your regular commission with Zazzle for a sale, you have the option to join the Associates program. And that means that you can earn an additional 15% per sale plus any volume bonus that applies per sale as well. Let's go over what Zazzle's Associate program really is. So we have the Associates program page here and we have the basic rundown of what goes into the associates program. If a sale is made through your referral link, then you get an extra 15% commission. You also have the opportunity to get a volume bonus, which I'll go over in a moment, but that's an additional potentially up to 17%. And then also with anyone that clicks through to Zazzle from your link, there's a 45 day cookie. And that's pretty much the gist of it. There's a few other little things like minimum payout 50 bucks. You can get paid by PayPal or through a check. There's a low refund rate. They've got some promotion tools and developer tools for you to use. Let's talk about what the volume bonus is really quickly. So a volume bonus, there's five different levels. The first level is if you make up to $100, and I think it might be US dollars only, but I don't know for sure if that's the case. So up to, if you refer $100 up to $99.99, you don't get any volume bonus. But once you hit that $100, you actually get an additional 1% commission. 100 to $999, you get an additional 1%. The next level is $1,000 up to $4,000 and I, $4,999, you get an additional 5%, and then $5,000 to $99,999, you get an additional 12%, and then 100,000 and above, you get an additional 17%, so it's actually huge. And that's not, you earn an additional $100, or like you don't need to earn that $100 to get the extra 1% bonus, it's the the base sale, so the, how much that pro, the base sale of that product, so, for example, like a phone case, I think certain phone cases are like $20 for the base sale. So it's the how much that product costs. If you made 14.9% commission on your the sale of your product and then an additional 15% referral, and then if you got an additional 17% volume bonus, what is that? That's like like almost like 50, that's like a 55% commission, 56, 57% commission, something like that. So that's basis of the associates program. It's really easy to sign up. All you need to do is go into the back end of your store. You're going to click on the earnings tab, go to associates and click yes and enroll me. And then they will immediately give you your associates ID number. In order to use that number, all you need to do is for any URL on Zazzle, you're just going to add this bit that's in blue here. And that's your that's your unique ID number. Any URL that you use to send somebody to Zazzle that has that unique referral ID code is going to be linked back to your account. And that's how Zazzle's gonna know it was you that referred them. Another way to access, like without having to add this code, is if you go to any product on Zazzle, so let's just go gifts for her, just click on that first one, and this button right here, you can click on that and copy the link, and that's gonna be your referral code. That's gonna have your referral code on it. So here I copied the link, and let's look. This is the URL right now, and it's gonna be the exact same, except it's gonna add that like question mark RF and then the, um, the code. So there you go, so this is the, um, that's the referral code right there being added on. The other way that you can access that code for your own products in the back end of your store is you can go down to your store, go to products, and then you can hit this share icon. And then this little thing is going to give you the URL right there for any product. So that's pretty much the gist of the associates program, but there is another option on Zazzle to be an affiliate and earn a higher commission. But there's some things I want you to take into consideration when choosing which program is right for you. So the other program is called the Promoter 2.0 program, and it's actually invite only, but I believe you can apply. I haven't applied for it personally, and I'll explain my reasons coming up here. 
but let's just go over what the Promoter 2.0 program is. So here's the Google form for you to be able to apply for the Promoter 2.0 program. And then I'll just go over some of the things that it says on here. So an overview, the goal of the Promoter program is to reward Zazzle store owners who drive their own traffic and sales, helping them to grow their stores and their brand. So essentially, if you are part of the Promoter 2.0 program, you're only promoting your own store, your own products. Who is eligible to join? Essentially anyone, you just need to apply and get accepted. I don't think they've outlined exactly who they're accepting and not accepting, but it's always worth it applying if it's something that you want to try. And then how does the new promoter program work? For each sale that you drive yourself to your own store and or products using a promoter link, you can earn a 35% promoter self-referral in addition to the royalty percentage that you set in your own shop, so your regular commission. That's a minimum of 40% per sale when you add your royalty plus promoter self-referral, a minimum. So it's gonna be between 40 and 50% because it's the 35% and then Zazzle has a minimum of a 5% um, royalty commission on all your products. So that brings you up to 40, but you can go as high. I mean, you can go as high as you want, but generally like we all know that there is a fee if you go 15% or higher. So it's probably going to be between 5% and 14.9%. So that's going to take you from 50 or sorry, 40% to 49.9% commission. I hope that made sense. So a promoter link, once you get accepted, basically it looks like a regular link, a regular URL. It doesn't have any like the referral code or anything like that at the end. They're doing something in the back end to track that. I don't know. It's kind of over my head. Something to do with their API. If you use the promoter link, the promoter 2.0 program, are you still eligible to earn referrals on other people's products? And the answer is yes, you can be a part of both of them. You just have to add that your usual referral ID code to the end of other links that you're linking to in uh, like around Zazzle. Are promoter accounts eligible to participate in the volume bonus program? Promoter member accounts are no, are not eligible to participate in the volume bonus program. So that is something to be aware of. If you are using the promoter 2.0 links, you cannot get a volume bonus from them. And then on the third page, it asks you if you accept and your email address, and that's how you apply for the program. So it's up to you if that sounds like it's a better opportunity for you. If you are confident that your products can convert well, then this may be a better option. But there is something that needs to be pointed out and that needs to be taken into consideration when picking which affiliate program you want to be a part of. And it's something Zazzle has made a change in the back end within the last year or so. And if you are participating in the Promoter 2.0 program, I would imagine that this is seriously going to cut into your conversion rate. But let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. If you're finding this video helpful, please be sure to subscribe. I'm coming out with new Zazzle content regularly, and I have some really exciting things coming down the pipeline. So you're going to want to make sure that you're subscribed for that. I'm going to go to Pinterest and let's just type in monogram mouse pad because I'm pretty sure that will bring up a Zazzle listing. Okay, perfect. So this is a Zazzle listing right at the top here, and we're gonna click on the link, and, on, and I want you to take a look at, a, first of all, here, let's go to Zazzle. So let's go to Zazzle. I wanna show you something really important. So I'm just gonna click on one of the first mouse pads here. I'm not like, there's nothing special about what I'm selecting. It's really just the product page that I want to show you. So this is a product page on Zazzle. This is what happens when you click on a product from the marketplace. It takes you to this page and you have the option right away to add the product to the cart. You can see how many times it's been viewed. You can personalize it. You have all the information you need right here. And then there's also below um, other designs you might like. So there is that pull to maybe scroll down and see what other designs there are available, but this takes up the majority of the page, this image here. Whereas if we go over to Pinterest and we found a monogram mouse pad that is going to take us to Zazzle and let's click on this link here. And this is the landing page that it takes you to. 
So right away, we can see there is no option to add to cart. And not only that is normally this picture was quite a bit bigger. And now you can see one, two, three, four, five other options like right off the bat, other designs that you might like. And if you keep scrolling down, you're gonna see even more options that the customer might choose to buy instead. And just the fact that they have to click through like one more click of a button to get to the product page here, I would imagine, I don't have any concrete evidence of this, but I would imagine that that would seriously lower the conversion rate for this product. However, what I think is happening here is that Zazzle's realize that they have the, a better conversion rate on this page for products, not necessarily this product that the link took us to go look at, but for like, it's going to convert better for mouse pads when you have that one product there and then the other five and then a bunch more below. Does that make sense? So what I'm trying to say here is if you're a part of the promoter 2.0 program and you put a pin up for your mouse pad or whatever, on one of your products and it takes you to this page, I think that this page is way less likely to convert for that product. But I think that Zazzle has done this because they've probably done some A-B split testing here and have figured out that, that customers do actually convert better when they come to this page because they're given more options. But they're not converting better for that product, that one specific design. I hope that makes sense. Like I, I'm, I'm definitely over explaining this, I think a little bit, but I just like really wanna get it through to you. But that means that maybe I would think that the referral program would be converting better. So for me personally, I am only a part of the regular Zazzle Associates program. I am not a part of the Promoter 2.0 program. Here's the other thing though I wanted to show you too is if I were to Google monogram mouse pad and here we've got a link right here that's gonna take us to Zazzle, it's still taking us to this landing page. It's not just referral links or anything like that. This is across the board. So it's just something to be aware of, uh, something to take into consideration. There is one way around this that I do wanna share with you that might make the Promoter 2.0 program still worthwhile. And that is if you share your collections, if you use your link to your collections instead of your pro individual products, customers will get sent to the collections page. So I have that little dinosaur birthday party collection that I shared to Pinterest last week when I did a marketing video for you guys. So I'll show you here and I have the collection and if I go to the link, it takes me to the collection page. So that's the way, the one way that I can think of to get around that landing page. It's kind of a bummer, but it's really Zazzle's prerogative. It's their platform, so they can do ultimately kind of whatever they want with it. So I hope that was helpful and explained the difference between the two affiliate programs on Zazzle. If you have any specific questions about the program, let me know in the comments below. I've tried my best to kind of answer the questions that people have asked me. So hopefully that was enough information for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, please give the video a like and be sure to subscribe for more Sazzle tips. Bye.